After close to a month traveling around Chile, Sam and I hopped on a plane to visit Easter Island, known locally as Rapa Nui. This was the closest we were ever going to get to this remote speck in the ocean, which also happens to be the southeasternmost point of the Polynesian Triangle. We gave ourselves one full week to explore Isla de Pascua, and what follows is a travel guide of our time there. We hiked ancient volcanoes, stood face to face with the Moai, watched spectacular sunrises and sunsets, and road tripped around the island while wild horses ran alongside. It was an incredible week, and we hope this video will inspire you to plan your own visit to Easter Island. So it is our first morning on Easter Island. How excited are you? Beyond excited. This is, <laughs> this is incredible. This is a place I never actually thought I was going to visit in my lifetime. And we're going to start off the day by climbing a volcano because why not? So that's how we let's roll. Let's go. This is the beast we're planning on tackling right in front of us. That's an extinct volcano crater right ahead. Dogs leading the way for us. Which way, pups? Lead the way, pups. So we just witnessed an animals in the wild moment. We have two dogs who have been following us since we left the town and they've been walking along, you know, keeping us company. And then one of them saw a chicken and it decided that's going to be my breakfast and it just went for it, caught a live chicken, chicken died and the dog had breakfast, so. That's country living. Country living, that's what happens. <laughs> Ranukau is 324 meters tall and it is located on the southwestern tip of Rapa Nui. We hiked all the way from town and because of its gradual incline, we found it to be a relatively easy activity. That being said, we would recommend doing it early in the morning since there were very few shaded areas along the way. We made it to the top! Woo! Yes. I feel like we've earned it. There's ways you can cheat by taking the car. We could here. drive up to the top like a whole bunch of people have done, but we were up early and we walked to get here. Yes, we did. Feeling accomplished. The Ranu Kau Crater is a protected area so you're not allowed to climb into it. However, you can get some really cool views of the interior by standing along the rim. Here's a little fun fact. Because the crater is sheltered from the winds, it has developed its own microclimate and it also has vegetation you can't find elsewhere on the island. So we've reached the top of Orongo, but the hike is not over yet. The trail continues and apparently we're going to get some really cool views of tiny little islands just off of Easter Island. They're like little islets, I guess you could say. So let's go. Let's go. Orongo is a village and ceremonial site located just past the Ranokau Crater. Unfortunately, it started pouring rain shortly after we reached the site, so we didn't get to visit, but we made plans to return later that week. That evening, we made our way into Hangaroa to watch the sunset from the harbor. There were lots of surfers out on the water and the waves kept rolling in and crashing against the rocks. Meanwhile, we enjoyed the show with ice cream cones in hand. So it's Sunday morning, 9am right now, and we are going to Catholic Mass. This was a suggestion by our host who's renting us the cutest little cottage. She said this is mostly for tourists, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but we were a bit curious, so we're gonna go check it out.
pretty cool church service. It was unlike any I've ever been to before. It was pretty cool because a lot of the songs they sang were actually in Rapa Nui. It wasn't in Spanish. Um, and also just the clothes they were wearing. Like, I don't really know the terminology for this, but the priest had like feathers on his yes, head. Yes, and some dogs made it in as yeah, well. Yeah, dogs came into the service. Lots and, of like, music. It was he also a... had kind of like a lei. I don't know if they use that word here or if, or if that's just in Hawaii, but he had like a flower necklace he was wearing. So it was pretty cool. It was nice seeing the, the culture and how that's incorporated into the local church service. So if you happen to be on the island on a Sunday, you can check that out. After attending Mass, we hopped over to the Artisan's Market located just across the street. Here we found all sorts of souvenirs including miniature Moai statues carved out of stone and wood, as well as postcards, magnets and jewelry. After the market, we took a walk to Ahu Tahai, which is a ceremonial complex that holds three different ahus or platforms with Moai. Perhaps the most famed of the three is Ahu Kote Riku, which stands out from the rest because it has restored eyes. Having already visited Ahu Tahai by day, we still made it a point to come in the late afternoon. The complex is just a short walk to the north end of town and it also happens to be the best place to catch the sunset on the island. From this spot, you can watch the sun paint the sky all shades of persimmon pink and gold before finally setting behind the moai and then dipping beneath the ocean. Day three on the island, and look at what we just got. Our official Rapa Nui stamps. How cool are those? Very, look at the face of the very Moai. cool. Best souvenir ever. So we just finished renting a car, and that calls for a road trip around Easter Island. So our first stop is Rano Raraku. I'm probably butchering the name, but I think that's the site you've been most excited to visit. Yeah, this is the place we've been really wanting to go to, and I can't believe it took us until what day three? Day three to actually do it. But yeah, there are hundreds of moai here. Many of them unfinished. A lot of them toppled over. So it's pretty cool to just walk around and see so many of them up close yes and we've got the car for 48 hours so there's going to be a lot of road tripping left to do yes. rano raraku is yet another volcano crater found on the island and it is also the site of the quarry that supplied the stone for the hundreds of moai that can be found on the island the quarry is believed to have been in use for a span of 500 years up until the early 18th century when activity ceased it would also appear that this site was abandoned in a rush since many of the moai here are unfinished. Now we're heading inside the crater of the Ranu Raraku volcano and there's a lake in there. It basically looks like a wetland. It's pretty cool, quite green. So yeah, have a look. If you can see, there it is. And there's Sam filming in the background. After seeing the moai scattered on the slopes of the volcano, we took a little detour and hiked into the crater. This area is home to a lake with reeds. We also spotted wild horses and a few moai inside the crater, which is quite unexpected. From there we continued on to Ahu Tongariki for a quick visit. This site is home to 15 moai, making it the biggest ahu on the island. Okay, so 
it is almost sunset and we're driving back to a spot that we've already been to before and that's Orongo and we're gonna get some nice views of the crater from there and I think sunset should be pretty spectacular. We'll be looking out at the ocean. Woohoo! Good morning. It is day four on Easter Island. Sam, how are you feeling? Grumpy? Did you sleep well? Grumpy, a little bit tired still, but we're up for a very special reason. Yes, we're here to watch the sunrise. So we drove back to the 15 Moai where we were yesterday and it should be pretty spectacular. The sun is starting to break through, so we're going to show you that. The best place to catch the sunrise in Rapa Nui is at Ahutongariki. We made the drive in the dark and we arrived just as the sky was beginning to show its soft morning colors. It's also worth noting that when we visited in March, sunrise was happening around 8.20 a.m. So we weren't up that early. back on the road we freshened up had our breakfast and right now we're visiting Ahu Akivi and these are the only Moai on the whole island that look out to sea so that's pretty unusual so it's not the best time of day for light but hopefully you can see them just over there there's seven of them here Coming across wild horses. Right me. or four in the afternoon but we're hungry and we love this place it's our favorite spot on the island so let's go in making new friends i think the pup wants ceviche it's waiting for our order to arrive don't you yes you like your fish you like your fish <laughs> Can you see all of this? Our ceviche has arrived. This one is Sam's and it looks like his has shrimp. Mine is strictly local fish, catch of the day. Couldn't tell you what the name of the fish is, but it looks amazing. Got rice, sweet potatoes, salad. Let's dig in. That's good. I just love the lime and cilantro that they put on this. It's amazing. My favorite. So that was a pretty fabulous meal, wouldn't you say? Yes, we're full. Never too full for ice cream. Waiting for your cone. Three scoops. <laughs> Three scoops. I would like to point out that Sam ran off with his ice cream and Why left so me. Big? He left me to pay a and a cone for container. everything. And this is our, probably our favorite spot to eat. Like they have awesome artisanal ice cream. Uh huh. And it's really good value. Like it's not expensive, and the taste 
It's amazing. Okay, Absolutely. so do you know the flavors you're having here? No. So you've got three flavors I've going got mint. on. Mint. I've got um, Malpaga. Which is Malaga. Like, Malaga, which is like rum and raisin. And the other one was Tyrone something. I can't um, remember what that is. It, it had hazelnuts in it. I remember You're that. You're having a hard time keeping your I'm, the camera up. You're it's so, melting. so excited to be yours. I'm having uh, raspberry ginger. And I better start eating since it's melting. One of the best decisions we made on our trip was to rent a car so that we would have the ability to explore all of Easter Island. On one particular afternoon, we hopped in the car and decided to drive the full island loop. We got to enjoy landscapes, the waves crashing along the rocky shores, and we also encountered many wild horses. It was one of the highlights of our visit. We are finishing off the day with a trip to Anakana Beach and Sam just loves the beach so we have to come here. Yeah. Marae. I love it so much for coming tomorrow. Just for her. morning it is day five on Easter Island and it's actually our last day with a car so we're trying to make the most of everything so back first at the up, beach we're back, back at, at the beach. beach yes back at Anakena Beach we were here yesterday but we thought we'd come and get some pictures and next up we're going to head back to the Orongo crater or no to Orongo village because last time we were there it started pouring rain and we had to run back so we didn't get to see much over there so we'll be driving there next fingers up. crossed for better weather mm-hmm We're visiting Punapau and this is where the Pukau were carved and those are the red stones that you see on top of a lot of the Moai and they're not sure if these were meant to resemble top knots, turbans or hats but you can see them off in the distance. Punapau is a quarry with red volcanic rock and although it is much smaller than Ranuraraku, all of the headpieces that you see on the Moai across the island came from this very spot. Later in the day, we finally made it back to Orongo, where the rain held up. The village consists of round-walled buildings made out of flat stone, and there's a trail that winds through the entire village. So it is nighttime here in Hangaroa, Easter Island, and this evening we're going to a cultural dance performance. Should be fun. Let's go check it out.
it is time for a tour of our little cottage here on Easter Island. Yeah, this is our last day here and we thought we'd just show you the house. We've had a really low-key day. I mean, it's been awesome. We've been able to have such good weather on this island and we've mm -hmm. like covered basically everything we wanted to do. So this last day, we've really done basically nothing. Well, it was pouring rain this morning as it well, was, so that, we couldn't go anywhere. I mean, that's part of the luck we've had though. We haven't had rain except yeah. for on the day we didn't need to do anything. All right, so time for the house tour. Lead the way, sir. Up the steps. So this is a kind of basic accommodation you can find on the island. Uh -huh. This feels like House Hunters International. Living yes, room. Living room. Yes. Followed the by the, the, dining the dining area. Here we have the kitchen, which is a little messy at the moment. And our messy humble abode. This is the bedroom we've been staying in. So yeah, Some we beds. we've we've been staying here with my parents, and they have a room over there. So the fancy room. And we also have a little bathroom. Ta-da! Hello! Um, yeah, so accommodations on Easter Island are very basic and a little pricey. For this cottage, we paid 830 US dollars for the week. Yeah. And that's pretty standard. Yeah, exactly. So if you come here, uh, if you don't have a huge budget, this is the type of place you're likely going to be staying at. Yeah. Ciao, Rapa Nui! And just like that, our week on Easter Island was up. Rapa Nui is one of the most fascinating places we have ever visited, and we love getting to explore every inch of the island. Now it's over to you. Have you ever been to Easter Island? Is it a place you'd like to visit? Let us know in the comments below.